We're coming to you today from Dix Hills, where instead of sitting back and complaining about cuts to their children's arts program at their school, these parents took matters into their own hands and created a choir with a cause. <laughs> For some of these children, their singing days almost ended before they really began. When their schools were faced with budget shortfalls recently, the children found their music programs were some of the first to be cut. I was sad that my, they said that my chorus, the chorus might be cut and the orchestra and bands, like they might cut it out. So Lindsay Lau's parents and their friends took matters into their own hands. Our children happened to be very active in, in the theater and in singing and one particular chorus had been cut that my daughter was a part of and then they were making sort of um, hints that others would be cut. We were at the meeting together and we couldn't believe and that, you know, arts got cut again and um, we decided to start our own. They started the Long Island Children's Choir. So kids who love music didn't have to miss out when their programs got cut at school. We were hoping to get maybe 40 or 50 kids for the first year. This is our first year. I think we ended up with 120. You see, the choir also attracted kids like nine-year-old Madison Grady, whose music program at school wasn't cut. When I sing, um, I feel like, I just feel like so happy. <laughs> Madison absolutely loves to sing, um, and at school they do have a, you know, general music program with one choir concert for the year, um, but she's just a child that wants to be on stage all the time. And she gets to be. The Long Island Children's Choir puts on multiple performances throughout the year. They may be little, but these kids have some big voices, and they each earned their spot on this stage. They had to audition to join the choir. At school, most of the kids are sort of forced to do it. Here, it's really a labor of love, and the kids are finding um, finding people who have similar interests. Now, while the choir is a not-for-profit organization, it isn't free to join. Members have to pay tuition, which goes to the salaries of the conductors, school music teachers who do this on the side. The choir does offer scholarships to talented children whose families can't pay the tuition. And while this ensemble, which is called Prelude, is for children in grades one through three, there are other ensembles for older children. Lindsay, who you met earlier, is in Harmonia. Good, huh? Well, check out the advanced singers, the 7th through 12th graders who make up Lyric. They're not only a choir with phenomenal singers, they're also a choir with a cause. In our case, with the Long Island Children's Choir, it was very important to us to start a choir for a cause and have a community service element to it as well. These pictures were taken at a recent performance at a children's hospital. Talk about a humbling experience. It was incredible um, to see our children performing for wheelchair-bound children, cancer patients, etc. Um, it was incredible. It was a very moving experience. Ten-year-old Austin Levine says it's a good feeling to give back. A lot of them were very happy, you can tell, and I think that they enjoyed just having, just brightening up their day for like an hour. Parents like the choir for a cause aspect as well. And she really is getting that understanding of community service, and that's something that I definitely want to actually 
really do more of with her, even outside of the choir, but this has been such a great start for her to start learning about that. The whole concept of this choir has been a lesson for the children since it began because of budget cuts. We wanted our children to see that you could be part of the solution instead of just sitting around and complaining about it, and um, they've been part of the process as well. They are having the best time of their lives performing in this choir, so the organizers are hoping the choir lives on. This should have a light, take on a life of its own. Our, our goal was to get it started and then for it to just sort of survive beyond us. The Long Island Children's Choir emphasizes that it's not here to replace music education programs in kids' schools. It's just here to supplement them.